Hello! Today I have hand selected a variety of products that are customized to fit the needs of my client's skin. As you can see, there are a variety of products here with each one serving a particular purpose that we hope will balance and create a lovely glow. Just to take a look here at several of the items, of course, we have our cotton rounds uh, in addition to some gloves. The gloves will be useful when I'm going to do some extractions. We have some micellular water that's going to help remove any makeup or residue, along with some rose facial oil, which we're going to help use to remove makeup. And of course, we're going to double cleanse with the Purity Cleanser. For our exfoliation needs, we have the Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub. We also have some Inglot Toner. We've got a serum that we'll finish with, followed by our final moisturizer here. We have our Lavender Lip Mask, and we've got a mask for the face, in addition to some hydrating eye mask as well. You'll see here the headband that's going to secure the hair away from the face. And of course, we've got our very clean towels that will help us along the way. I do hope you enjoy this service with us and stay tuned. So we start by adding the towel here, just like that. Her hair is secured. And we're going to begin with some oil. And the purpose of this oil is to do a little bit of like an oil cleansing. Just gently warming the oil in my hands. And applying it just like this. Now let us remember that I am not an esthetician. And this is just for fun. And by adding oil in the beginning, this really helps to melt away any impurities, any residual makeup. And then when we cleanse, it's really going to come in and balance out that oiliness. So we're not going to be left feeling a little too slippery or anything like that. Focusing here on the nose and between the eyes. And as I get to the forehead and to the eyebrow area, I apply a little bit more pressure just to relieve any trigger points. And sometimes having a stronger pressure in this area feels really nice. All right. We're just applying a warm cloth.
And as we apply this, it's softening the skin, it's opening the pores, and as we apply this warm compress, it's really working to soften the skin, to open the pores, and create a clean canvas for us to work with. Now I'm going to apply some cleanser and today we're using the Purity by Philosophy. And we're really emulsifying this in between both hands to create that nice sudsy product that's going to help really penetrate the skin and get in there for a deep cleansing. And we begin by applying it to the face as a whole and then I will go through and sort of pay a little bit more attention uh, inch by inch to her face. Focusing here on her chin as this is a problematic area for her. And coming up here to the cheeks, doing gentle circular motions. Okay. Coming up along the bridge of the nose, paying special attention right in there on those nostrils because a lot of us get congestion in there. And of course, shifting our attention to the forehead, and this is where I'm applying a little bit more pressure. I'm taking a clean 
cotton pad and I'm going to place these over the eyes just like that. Okay. Now we're moving on to some exfoliation. Using my Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub. A little bit goes a long way for this amazing product. This is uh, considered to be a manual exfoliation. Um, comparing it to something like a chemical exfoliation where you're going to use something like gly glycolic or lactic acid. For today's video, we're using this manual exfoliation. Again, focusing on areas that tend to get a little bit more congested and a little bit more backed up. So that would be the chin and the nose. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to moisten these eye pads and they're going to stay in place a little bit better. So let's do that. Okay. There we go. Getting some more product and focusing up here right on the forehead ever so gently as we don't need to do too much here on the forehead Okay. Just as before, we apply the moistened cloth to the face and we're gently going to go through and, and just gather up any residual product, making sure that we haven't left anything behind as we certainly do not want that sitting on the skin. Okay. And we're going to go through one last time here. 
And the next step is going to be applying the mask. And when the mask is setting on the face, we're going to do a little bit of a hand massage. Okay. The mask we're using today is the I Do Care Space Kitten. It is the T-Zone Clearing Galactic Black Peel-Off Mask, and this product was selected because her T-Zone is, is her biggest area that uh, causes her concern. And with this particular mask, we're just going to apply it generously and leave it on for 20 minutes or until the mask is dry. So I'm going to use this in addition to a hydrating eye mask and a lip mask, and then we're gonna do her massage. So let's go ahead and do that. We're using the Lavender um, Agave Lip Mask by Bite. And we're just going to apply that. You really don't need a lot at all. We're going to apply that right over the lips, just as they are. Okay. Next, we have the black. This is the uh, Black Eye Mask Hyaluronic Acid. It comes in a package just like this. Gently applying number one and number two. And these are just basically saturated and hyaluronic acid. So they're very moisturizing. Now we do the fun part. This mask is very, very effective. However, it's also very, very sticky and really, um, you have to be very careful with where it goes. So we're going to be very careful as I apply this mask with my spatula. And you can watch me as I go ever so slowly and intentionally to create an even layer that covers the face in its entirety. Coming all the way up to the eye line where the mask is. And 
and this particular product has a very strong scent it's very very perfumey so if that's something you don't like then I do not recommend this product to you It smells wonderful, but sometimes it can be a little bit aggravating for those of us who are sensitive to scents. And this is a peel off mask, so that's gonna be exciting to peel off when it's done setting. But because it's a peel off mask, we wanna make sure that we apply the right amount Sometimes if you apply too thin of a layer, it doesn't really peel off the way that it's meant to. So we think about that as I go through and apply this product. Coming all the way up, making sure not to get any eyebrow hair in there. And all the, and all the way down here to the forehead, just like that. So it's gonna look a little bit different because I am trying to avoid a lot of the hair. But I also want to make sure that the skin is getting the appropriate amount of product that will make it an effective treatment. Okay, I'm just going to get the tip of the nose right there. How does that look? Okay, it looks good. Okay. So as this sits, I'm going to go clean some utensils and refresh in some of my water bowls, and I will be back with a hand massage. For the massage, I'm going to be using this product. And I actually love the way that this smells. Warming the lotion in my hands. And just gently grabbing the first hand. One of the things to think about when doing a hand massage is thinking about applying some firm pressure right into this area as these muscles tend to be aggravated from texting and being on the computer. So as I go, I just use my thumbs with some gentle pressure Just like that. And going up the arm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, very good. And moving on to the next, you can rest it there. Getting a little bit of lotion. And gently applying to hand number two. Doing the same thing as before, applying that pressure to the palm of the hand. Really getting in that area, sort of that meaty area of the hand, right in between the thumb and the pointer finger. Going up the arm just a little bit. And down the hand. Now, some places of the face with this product are not completely dried, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to remove, but we continue to work at it anyway. This is not the cleanest mask. And I probably am gonna have to come in with a moist cloth to get the residual stuff.
before we do that, <clears throat> let's give it a little bit more opportunity to dry. Even though this mask was sitting for about 25 minutes. I do have to say <clears throat> that this mask is one of the most difficult masks I've ever worked with outside of this. Um, even when I've used it myself, it's just, it works. It works really well. I can see the results instantly, but it is really difficult to work with, not just in something like today where it's obviously not dry enough, but it's just, um, it gets everywhere and you know, you have to be careful not to get it on the sink and so forth. So it kind of comes at a cost, the results, but if you're willing to do that, then I recommend it. And hopefully it won't look like this when you try to use it. Okay, now that that mask is finally removed, we've got this very clean canvas. It's a little bit red here because we did have to go in and use that uh, cloth to manually remove the product. So her skin is just a little sensitive to that abrasiveness. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and do a little bit of a skin examination, doing some extractions. And for that purpose, I need my gloves. Okay, and I will <clears throat> begin at the forehead. And 
just going inch by inch as I look at the skin. Forehead looks good, coming along the side. I'm noticing just a little bit of that irritation. Okay, cheek looks good. Looking at the nose. Looking good. Nothing there. I'm getting a few things on the chin. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Overall, the texture feels very nice. I can feel a difference from when we first began. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a toner. And once we add the toner, we're going to let that absorb just a little bit. And we're going to do the serum and finally the cream. But for a moment, I'm just gently bringing my hands up the face. Stimulating the blood flow and stimulating the collagen. Quickening my pace just a little bit. Okay, wonderful. Let's do that toner. <clears throat> and we're using the Inglot toner. Some on a cotton round. And here we go. Gently swiping up to the side, down. either side of the nose, getting that upper lip, coming on over, Letting that absorb. And as her face is absorbing the product, 
I'm going to prepare my serum. This is by Bare Minerals, the Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. And we're going to get some of that on the hands and warm it up nice and neat. And I'm going to have her inhale. Very good, as this does have some essential oil in it and has a wonderful scent. And we apply. And we press. Pressing the product into the skin. Beautiful. To complete today's service, we have this Balancing Biopeptide Cream by Image, and that's what we're going to use. This is a very moisturizing product. It's suitable for uh, basically all sorts of skin. It has green tea, aloe vera, chamomile, and grape seed, so it's very balancing, but also very moisturizing. Now for this product, we're going to do a combination of rubbing it in, in addition to padding as well. Here we go. And using this as an opportunity to provide some more massage and stimulation of the skin. And it absorbs so nicely into the skin. Wonderful. Everything is looking great. Everything is feeling great. The skin is much more supple, much more hydrated. The texture is much more smooth and even than when we started. I thank you all for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.